It's been a little while since I did a video here, so I figured now would probably be a good time to do it. Because I've got quite a collection of things that came in the past couple of weeks, and I figure I could at least show it off and talk about a few things. So, we'll first start off with a couple of titles I got from uh, AGFA, the American Film, was it the, the American Genre Film Academy, which is, I think it's a new label. First time I'd heard of it anyway, so I assume it's a new label, but if it isn't, you know... So I'm going to have to let me know. But they got effects on Blu-ray. Now this was one that I owned previously when Synapse released it on DVD. It's it's okay. I mean, it's good enough. It's made by George Romero's buddies. Um, not the best thing in the world, but it is watchable. And it can be fun in some parts. It's got Tom Savini uh, and some other people you recognize, especially if you watch George Romero films. So that, and it looks good, too. So that one, I got that. And then I got Zodiac Killer, which is basically your stereotypical grindhouse type film you'd watch. If I get the glare out of the cover here, uh, takes the whole Zodiac Killer thing, but it kind of gives it a backstory and pretty much gives you who the Zodiac Killer is, and just goes from there. Uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's more probably for the funniness and the randomness of some of the kills than quality overall. But it is a fun watch. And plus it has a bonus movie, uh, Another Son of Sam, that comes on it. Which is pretty good. You know, about the same as Zodiac, I would say. Then we move on to a Vinegar Syndrome. I have Snapshot. Don't have the one with the slipcase, but hey, at least I got the Blu-ray anyway. Uh, this was also known as The Day After Halloween when it was originally released. Which was trying to cash in on the Halloween fame. Not much of a horror film, more like a thriller film. It, it follows a uh, model as she goes through the dark world of photography. Um, I like it enough. Like I said, it's it's not one of the groundbreaking movies, but it's solid enough. It's a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. And if you cannot live without calling it today after Halloween, then you got that reverse cover on the other side. I'll probably just leave it a snapshot because I have the old Scorpion releasing DVD of it when it was called the other title. Also from Vinegar Syndrome, we've got Red Roses of Passion. I don't know anything about it, but uh, they sent it to me for review, so it's probably not porn, I would assume, since they usually don't send me the adult stuff. A random one here from Funimation. It is Shin Godzilla. I reviewed this on the site a long time ago when they sent me a DVD screener when it first was, like, come out or whatever it was in theaters or whatever it was, but uh, pretty solid Japanese Toho Godzilla film uh, Probably in my opinion better than the American one that last come out, but I don't know I'm, I'm not the biggest giant monster movie fan although I have a bunch of them uh, the deal with me is I really like it like when we get to the You know the giant monster action, but sometimes I tend to get a little bored getting up to that point uh, This one at least does a little bit of interesting stuff up to the point of the Godzilla monster coming out of the water from there, from MVD, it's Black Room on Blu-ray. I don't know anything about this one, but I've heard a lot of people are pretty excited about seeing it, so that kind of makes me excited about seeing it. So we'll see how that one goes. From Arrow Video, we've got Robert De Niro's Ronin. It looks cool. It's got a slipcase. Never seen it. I think it's from 1988, I believe it is, as I search for the copyright date. Yes, 1988. Uh, it's De Niro, so it's probably pretty solid stuff. Got to watch that one. Haven't even opened it yet, as you can see. I also have Stormy Monday. I've not opened this one either. Uh, this one has, you know, Tommy Lee Jones in it, and Sting, and Sean Bean, and people like that. So, uh, hopefully that's a pretty good film. Never seen it. We'll watch it soon, though. And also, from Arrow Video that I've not watched yet, but do plan on watching, is the new Battles Without Honor and Humanity box set. The original Battles Without Honor and Humanity box set was one of the few Arrow USA titles that I don't actually own, but uh, I think that's a pretty good starting point, and who knows if all goes well. Maybe I'll just go back and pick up the old one, which I probably should have done that anyway. From Screen Factory, I have The Devil's Candy on Blu-ray. Now, this is on Netflix right now. It was at Walmart as a DVD exclusive. I know eventually the Blu-ray is coming out. Not sure when yet, but really cool to have that one to watch. Uh, I'm behind on watching stuff. This is what happens when you work on movies. So, that's why I've not watched a lot of this stuff. Of course, that, in fact, I just got most of it. Uh, 
from the fine folks over at Umbrella in Australia. We have this exploitation uh, double feature. It's Kadacha or Kadacha from 1988 and Innocent Prey from 1984. Got to watch those. Look forward to them, though. I think basically this week's going to be just watching movies, so I'll probably get down to watching all of them. Here's one I have seen. Uh, Death Wish 2 and Death Wish 3. If you think uh, people make jokes about Taken and how that guy has gets his wife and his kids taken all the time. What about poor Charles Bronston and how many family members he loses in this series? Ain't this something? It's really good stuff, though. That I assume these uh, will play on a Region A player. I've not got a chance to watch them yet, but it also comes with a bonus DVD, which is a, I think, a director's cut of something of Part 2, so all the more reason to pick that up from Umbrella. And Children of Dune. Um... I love David Lynch. I don't really like the first Dune movie. Uh, hopefully I like this one. That's like the only David Lynch film I don't like, but I don't feel bad about it because he don't really like it either. From Blue Underground, we have Amsterdam from Dick Mass, which sounds like a porn star name. Uh, it looks pretty cool. looks pretty solid. We shall see. And now we're getting into... No, wait, we got some more review stuff before I show you stuff I purchased here. Uh, Camp Motion Pictures now doing a Burn On Demand thing. All these titles are available on their website. Burned on DVD-R. But, you know, these days it's kind of like becoming a common thing. We've got a vam, uh, Vampire. We've got, uh, from Chris Siever, the Paranormal Investigation Agency. If you've seen any of his films, you know what to expect from that, I'm sure. And we've got the one I have watched so far, uh, The Drown. This is like a 2006 shot on video film. You know, that's like the second wave of the shot on video stuff. Everybody just wanted stuff to put on the shelves back then. Movies were getting snatched up. All the good indie stuff. <coughs> excuse me. All the good indie stuff that come out around that time, you know, kind of clogged your shelves. But you got a bunch of stuff like this, too. Although I don't know if this has been released before now or not. I don't think it has been, but... It's uh, it's kind of like Let's Scare Jessica to Death, sort of like in that same range, but shot on video, uh, bad acting, some green screen effects, but the story isn't half bad, so it's a fairly decent shot on video film if you're in the shot on video stuff. Now, getting to the stuff that I've purchased, uh, first of all, this isn't a purchase, but my friend Ryan, who I've done podcasts with, movies with, give me this one, Cottontail, old brain damage films. He said it was terrible. Uh, I kind of hope it is. Because uh, you watch something like that, you're not going for Gone with the Wind type stuff. So, really look forward to checking that one out. Uh, went to Roses. You guys got a Roses in your area? Well, if you do, you should check it out because they have a lot of old Ariston DVDs you can buy. They just so happen to have Prom Night 3 and 4. Um, I don't have 3 and 4. This was the first time I'd actually seen this in a store anywhere, to be honest with you. And I haven't actually went looking for it, so I was kind of surprised to run across it. And happy to because... You know, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone, just pick it up. I have Problem Night 1, obviously. I have the Synapse 1 and the crappy DVD of it. But uh, Part 2, I have it on like a combo pack with other stuff. This is the first time I'll be seeing or owning 3 and 4. I hear they're terrible, but you got to you gotta have them, right? I mean, if you see them, you got to have them. I even own the remake, so if you got to have that, you got to have the rest. Um, do you have a game exchange in your area? They're currently doing a deal where... You buy 10 movies for $20. Kind of went in double with my cousin Ethan, who I did podcast with and movies with. Uh, we won't talk about the ones he got because it kind of sucked. But I got horror stuff, obviously. And first thing I got is Ryan Nicholson's live feed. I have it on a uh, Voltra VHS tape, but I did not have it on DVD until now. So there's a live feed, which is kind of hard to pick out 20 movies there because they got a lot of crap, to be honest with you. Uh, we got the Hitchhiker Volume 1 and 2, this whole anthology show that used to come on. I want to say HBO. I remember it as a kid, man. That's how old this show is. And uh, I kind forgot about it until I see them there. So I was like, wow, why not just pick them up? Uh, still need Volume 3, which apparently is hard to find in the wild. But, you know, you could order it, but what's the fun in that? Uh, finally, I own Return to Sleepaway Camp, which was the only Sleepaway Camp I do not own besides that Butchered Together uh, Part 4, which... Maybe one day I'll get around to that. But I was really looking forward to this one because it's the return of Felissa Rose in the series. And my last purchase from there was Undead Rising. Yes, it's probably like my 4,000th copy of Night of the Living Dead, which is on here. That was comes with Revolt of the Zombies, but that's not really what I'm interested in. I got it for Hard Rock Zombies, which is like one of the most uh, entertaining bad movies I've probably ever seen in recent memory. 
I did an old Horfilly podcast over it, basically about a band that comes to this town, if I'm remembering correctly, and they run into like these neo Nazis, and the lead singer kind of falls for this girl who's underage. And I know there's one scene where uh, his band, while zombified, performs a love song to her. It's just pretty corny stuff, but if you have a chance to see it, you should watch it. And that is a pretty cool cover, if I do say so myself. Last thing I want to talk about here is from quirkbooks.com. It's my best friend's exorcism. Uh, don't read a lot of books. I do read like some pretty interesting stuff. I do say so myself when I do read. I read Goosebumps stuff. I read uh, Make Your Own Damn Movie by Lloyd Kaufman. I read the Joe Bob Briggs stuff. But this is something that you've seen probably popping up on some of your social media feeds because everybody's buying it for the really cool VHS uh, influence cover, which is why I wanted it, obviously. Uh, I will be reading this one really soon. I'm going to make sure I get time to read this one. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I hear it's like one of those must-read deals where when you start reading it, you just can't put it down. If uh, You don't want to wait on my report for it, and you want to check it out yourself. Like I said, it's at quirkbooks.com. Uh, this book packs all the magic of a summer horror flick, says bustle.com. Well, I hope this is one time we can judge the book by its cover, because going by this cover, the book would be awesome. So, let's hope it is. So, until next time, like, subscribe, share, go to zombiesdontrun.net, um, and wait to order my movie that should surely be coming out here pretty soon, as soon as I figure out how to properly burn a Blu-ray disc, which I'm making waves in, by the way. So, that should be coming hopefully this month, uh, if not, check for it next month. But I will have more videos for you pretty soon, because we've got to get back to like the top ten list and stuff like that. So, until then... Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. If you've read this book, let me know what you think. If you own any of the stuff I've talked about, let me know how it is. And if you have any review requests, let me know. You know, Maybe I'll do some reviews again here lately. So just uh, holler at your boy, so to speak.